All roads lead to Naivasha for the much anticipated WRC Safari Rally set to run from today till 31st March. Now, Service Park in Naivasha is a nerve center of the motorsport event which will take various routes in Naivasha, namely Malewa, Loldia, Elementaita, so assemble with various spectator st stages along the routes and terminates, uh, terminates at the Hell's Gate National Park. For more details, our sports reporter Robinson Okenya is in Naivasha and now joins us for a live update. Robinson, good afternoon. Good to see you. Bring us up to date with regards to the World Safari Rally Championships. Well, a very good afternoon to you, Fathia Mohamed. Now, we are in Naivasha. This is where the service park is. Uh, of course, we couldn't manage to get her to the first stage of the rally, that is Kasaradi, that is the super special stage. But remember, once the cows breathe Kasaradi, they come here to Naivasha, and tomorrow we'll be having the first, the second day of the rally, then Saturday and Sunday, before we get to know who's the winner of the 2024 edition of the Safari Rally. Remember last year, Sebastian Ojewoni, the year before, it was Kale Rovanpera. For Since the rally returned to Kenya, it's been dominated by Toyota, but uh, probably this year we've seen the first two uh, legs of the WRC have been won by drivers from Hyundai or Hyundai, so probably we'll be expecting uh, them to mount a challenge in this year's edition of uh, the Safari Rally. And the weather will be presenting a totally different challenge to the drivers. Remember, we've been having some rains as compared to last year when it was rainy only on Saturday, and then uh, the final day of the rally, it was a, a totally different uh, affair. So it's going to be a very event eventful weekend, eventful Easter weekend here in uh, Naivasha, Nakuru County. And I want to speak to my colleague, uh, that is uh, Eric Cheng, to bring us up to speed, probably from the drivers, because he's been here since Tuesday. He's been speaking to the drivers and what they have to say uh, in regards to this year's uh, e event. Uh, good afternoon, Eric. How are you doing? Uh, good afternoon, Okenye. Yes, you've been camping here yesterday. You spoke to Toyota drivers. You spoke to Sport Drive, uh, rather M Sport Ford drivers. You've spoken to Hyundai drivers. I mean, this year it's it's a totally different affair. Truly, it is totally different. Uh, we can't uh, really predict whether uh, uh, Toyota is going to have another three-pit. Remember, the first time they won this event was way back in 1993. Then 2020, uh, 2022, 2022, they had another podium sweep. And then last year, there was also another podium sweep. But now, uh, how they started this season eh, is really, really um, baffling because so far, no... Toyota um, uh, driver has stopped any leg in Monte Carlo. They were nowhere to be seen. In Sweden, they were nowhere to be seen. And, and in fact, the defending champion, the reigning world champion, that is Kale Rovanpera, shocked many with a 39th place finish uh, in Rally Sweden last year. Again, uh, if you look at the lineup that has, has been uh, put in place by Hyundai, yeah, it's really, really formidable. We have Ottonak there. We have uh, 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 Pierre Novel and, uh, hey, and Danny Sod. Yes, yes, yes. It's really, really formidable. I was with these guys uh, last week in Masai Mara, and what they told me is that uh, uh, Hyundai is not going to let this to go. Mm -hmm. They are going to mount uh, such a challenge that uh, at the end of the day, at least they'll be on the podium. Yes, let's talk about Kenyan drivers. Everybody will be looking at Carl Tundo, Karan Patel, who's the African Rally champion. They have, we have Akif Virani, Nikhil Sechania. What are you expecting from them? I think I'll, I'll put my money on Carl Tundo and Karan. Remember, Carl Tundo is, is the five-time uh, national champion, mm. and now he has been boosted. His morale is really, really high after getting the uh, Betika uh, sponsorship. You remember, Betika uh, sunk $20 million, mm -hmm. huh? Into, into this rally, supporting three drivers, and Cantulo is one of them. Cantulo uh, personally told me last week that um, he is coming here to defend the WRC 2 category. Mm -hmm. And remember, the, uh, it was uh, 2021, he was also the WRC uh, 3 category champion. Yes. Uh, Karan Patel is the reigning African champion. Yes. And we hope that he is going to replicate what he did uh, on the continental level in this championship. Yes. Now, there's something that, of course, everybody is uh, probably looking at and how that will pose a challenge. It's the weather. 
it's been raining. You can see around there's some mud. Uh, it rained yesterday. How uh, probably big of a challenge is that going to be for the drivers? Uh, truly, uh, the weather has been a bit of a challenge. I've been here since Monday, and it's been raining day uh, every day. Today, I think the weather is quite fair. The service park, the atmosphere is electric. But those other days, at least it's been a bit gloomy uh, because of weather. I've talked to the drivers, and they've said they agree that weather is going to be a challenge. And you see, that is why uh, Toyota has devised a means eh, of conquering the weather. They've, uh, in their vehicles, they've, uh, they've put that gadget called snorkel. Eh? Mm -hmm. This snorkel uh, uh, will enable the cars eh, to traverse easily uh, within floods or for during weather conditions, so they will they'll not stall. The only driver who is so positive about the weather is Caltundo. Eh? He, you know, we all, he knows the terrain very well. He knows the terrain very well, and he, he has always been uh, favored by uh, the Kenyan weather. When it's wet, that is when he, he flies. Well, thanks a lot, Eric Ching. Of course, we'll be together with Eric Ching covering the rally. You can be sure to catch his pieces on the standard newspaper sports tomorrow to see what he, uh, the drivers have to say in regards to today's uh, super special stage at Castle Rally and, of course, uh, what to expect tomorrow and uh, on uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday. So we'll be waiting for the drivers to come to here in Evasha at the service park. Uh, we get to hear from them on what they have to say about the super special stage and for them to give us uh, probably a sneak peek of what to expect uh, tomorrow because they have to cover a number of uh, kilometers here in uh, Naivasha County. And remember the president, uh, that is President William Ruto, said that uh, he's expecting Kenyans to come and uh, cheer on their favorite drivers here in Naivasha. We'll be looking forward to that. Back to you, Fatia. Thank you so much. That is Robinson O'Kenya there in Naivasha. Of course, it is regardless.